My older sisters are two years older than me and identical twins. The three of us have always been close. Also, in my experience, there's nothing like the bond between twins. I don't think I've ever been or ever will be as close to anyone as they are to each other. Maybe my spouse someday? We'll see. My parents have become a little more religious as they've gotten older, but they were not particularly strict about it when we were growing up. We went during the big religious holidays, but we were never forced to go on a weekly basis like some of our friends were. Both of our parents worked when we were growing up, but her house was within walking distance of the middle school and high school, which were right next to each other. And my sisters and I walked together every day. We would wait in the kitchen until we saw other kids we knew passing by our house, and then we'd done a hoji and joined together in this big swarm of kids and we'd all walk together. There are a lot of things about that time that were really tough. Growing up is a tricky time, but there are also a lot of things about it that I really miss. I played soccer in high school, but I was never really good enough to be considered for a college level sport. So I worked really hard in high school and I ended up okay. I was accepted to a pretty good school not far from where I grew up. I lived on campus, I thought my parents would have preferred I live at home for a number of reasons. But I offered to work to pay for my own housing, and we finally reached a compromise. I lived in the dorms all four years, but a lot of my friends lived in off-campus apartments, and I spent a lot of my free time there. Not that I had much free time between school and working in a library. My mom always read a lot. She always had a paperback on her nightstand or stuffed into the cushions on the couch. My dad was and is a news junkie, so after dinner or during 60 minutes or deadline, my mom would pull out her novel. It's not that she wasn't informed. I think she felt like she saw enough of the real world in her job and she liked refuge books offered her. So, I think I got my love of books from her, although we have very different tastes. She likes bestsellers and Daniel Steele that kind of thing, and I prefer fantasy. The Lord of the Rings is my all-time favorite book, but I throw in some classic literature every now and then just to mix it up. My love of reading also helped to inspire my love of writing. I'm working in my field now, but when I was in college, I started writing a little, short stories, fantasy mostly, and I've recently started up with that again. I don't know how good they are, but I probably won't be able to quit my day job or anything, but I'd like to see where it goes. At the very least, it's a hobby that I really enjoy, so there's value in that. I'm not really seeing anyone right now. My last relationship didn't end very happily, so I'm taking a break for a bit. I'd like to settle down someday. I mean, I'm still young, but I'd like to have a family of my own someday. I'd like to give a child that bond I have with my sisters. And, of course, I'd like to have someone to share my life with. We'll see.